And welcome back to Age of Empires 3 Historia. Today we're moving on to the Woku Ronin. Jesus, okay. This is all the same thing. You can go back to the samurai. The term Woku is a combination of the Chinese word Wo, referring to Japanese, and Ku, meaning bandit or evasion. Uh, beginning in the 13th century, no group of sailors were... were were as feared or as mighty as the plundering Woku pirates, a clan of Japanese raiders and smugglers who terrified the Chinese and Korean coasts. First attacks occurred in 1223, triggering immediate calls for the Kamakura shogun of Japan to corral these scoundrels and prevent further attacks on the Korean coast. In 1227, as a show of strength, the shogun had mighty suspected Woku pirates to capture before visiting Ch Korean co an envoy. Envoy, whatever. During the Mongol invasions of the mid-13th uh, century, Woku attacks fell in number, mostly due to the heightened military preparedness of part both Japanese and Korean governments, but this did not last. In the late 14th century, as central authority in Japan weakened, the Woku took full advantage, even branching out initial attacks along the coast of China. Profited highly from a severe trade embargo forced to Japan by the Qin and Min Ming dynasties of China. Reaping rewards, black markets flourished. The Woku experienced periods of rise and decline, even attacking China with makeshift fleet in 1419. But they ultimately became obsolete. At its peak, the Woku culture was enough to threaten even the most powerful Asian ruler to appeal to the most ordinary citizenry. Many men left behind their lives to seek fortunes at sea. Chinese merchants, militiamen, smugglers, Korean pirates, Portuguese sailors, traders, and even missionaries joined up with the notorious Woku pirates. I'll be back next time with the Woku Ronin.